Welcome back to Rome Total War Skippy Eye Campaign and we're doing the No Post Marion Unit Recruitment Challenge. The year is 240 BC and we control most of Northwest Africa. We are uh, in the middle of conquering Spain, Asia, and here North Central Africa. We're about to finish off Numidia over here. They just have two provinces left. And we're also working on finishing off Pontus over here in the east. We managed to cut off the Brutii from taking Mazaka. This probably wasn't their initial target anyway. They were probably going for Tarsus. One thing I didn't notice in the last episode is that the Brutii did manage to sneak some troops over here into uh, northern Africa. And we got here just in time to stop that. Let's go ahead and assault Cyrene over here. They only have a uh, javelinman, so it should be easy to take. And the uh, Skippy Eye, the Broody Eye are going to help us out, so let's go. Yeah, so I'm going to do the same thing as the last time I had the Broody Eye help, or it was the Julie Eye in, over in Asuka, is I'm just going to take the walls and uh, let the uh, Broody Eye do it. Let them take the casualties. Better than the, them than us. Our soldiers, have, our soldiers have done their work well. As we can see, they are getting hit by these towers, doing a few casualties, but not as many as I'd like them to take. I'd like them to take a lot more than what they are, but they're getting hit quite a bit, losing a few guys. They've got their V-like gladiators over here. Yeah, we didn't take part in this battle. We just let the Broody Eye go ahead and take the city. Um, and they got about 90 kills. I mean, and Numidia got about 90 kills. So they uh, weakened our allies. So that was, uh, that's good for us. All right, we're going to go ahead and enslave the population. Let's go ahead and get our spy out. And I don't, we want to take this city before the Broody Eye. I think it's going to be faster to get our guys into the boat and do it that way so let's go ahead and do that let's leave behind 54 velites and get our fleet moving let's get this equites into the city uh, we're gonna have some troubles here we should be all right though there we go we got um recruiting a lot of peasants got the public order to be decent let's go ahead and get the paved roads we will tear down this shrine later but we'll keep it for now and then we'll move on to this last city in uh, libya so over here in this city up here i'm gonna we are uh pretty close to upgrading our town so what i'm gonna do is just go ahead and disband this town watch and then we're gonna get the governor's villa and then I'm gonna recruit a peasant let's go ahead and do that I am gonna get one group of equites just to sit in the city I don't think that's gonna help with the public order but just in case there's some sort of hidden army around here I have no idea all right I'm gonna get Secundus over here to go ahead and hit this uh, rebel army we'll have to wait till next turn all right let's hit this Spanish army over here let them uh, retreat and then we'll go after him. Alright, a lot of war dogs, skirmishers, and some Iberian infantry and one cavalry. Let's go. Alright, they're coming forward. They're charging. I'm going to get my infantry forward. Actually, I think they're just getting in position, but I'm going to go ahead and get my infantry forward anyways. Get my slingers over here. I mean, my velites over here on the left flank. Get my general behind, and then I'm gonna have my arch, my cavalry protect my velites. Okay, I'm gonna get my slingers up here so they don't cause any friendly fire. Let's have everybody charge. Okay, velites, go ahead, and start firing your missiles. Their round shield cavalry. What 
we got here? War Dogs. Uh, they've released their War Dogs, so we're gonna take some damage to our cavalry. Let's get our infantry forward. We've got guys routing already. Just have our infantry charge. Let's have our guys stop firing missiles, protect against friendly fires. And everything seems to be routed except for their round shield. Okay, let's go ahead and just wipe them out. All right, well, we only lost 56, not too bad. Doesn't look like I'm able to get this public order in Cordoba under control. It's still at 60%, even though I moved a lot of troops back into here. And I'm recruiting as many peasants as I can. I am gonna move Queso out. We've got a little bit of an army. Get him parked onto the bridge over here. All right, let's go ahead and take these uh, rebels over here. And I'll have to wait till next turn too. Actually, you know what? I got him. Let's go. All right, they got a general, a skirmisher, Spanish mercenaries, and Iberian infantry. Here we go. All right, let's uh, get my cavalry back. Got my guys hidden in the, the woods over here. And I'm just going to wait for my reinforcements to come. Looks like uh, they're sending their Iberian infantry up to charging at me. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Hit him with my uh, cavalry real quick. And we've got another Equites coming this way. He should get us around. Alright, gonna send my archers up and try to hit the hit their Spanish mercenaries if I can. And then I'm gonna get these guys moving up here. Get these guys moving up here. Get our cavalry charging, charging. Let's go ahead and attack their uh, general. Get our cavalry back. Have our infantry lead this assault. Get our cavalry to move to their flanks. Let's go. General hit us, but we got him surrounded. He's routed. We killed their general. Well, we took care of them, but we lost 80 guys. And we got a man of the hour, good commander, publicly loyal. Let's take him. I'm going to send this army that's over here in Carthago Nova. Let's get him on the boat. And I'm going to get them to. Join up with this fleet over here and hit um, Scalabus, maybe. We'll see. But I want to get my troops moved over a little bit. Alright, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Alright, well, it looks like uh, they slipped by the Broody Eye. It looks like the Broody Eye abandoned uh, going after Pontus, and Pontus hit. Marcellus over here on the bridge. Uh, bridge defense doesn't really help too much when you're um, cavalry only. Might help a little bit. We can get a good surround. They do have a heavy cav. Okay. So I actually do want to take advantage of this bridge defense. Let's get our troops moved up a little bit closer if we can get like you know these uh, Eastern infantry to route it might uh, cause other units to route so let's wait 
until these guys get across. Okay, we'll go ahead and charge. Blow the horn, let's go. Why aren't they charging? Why aren't they charging? go okay these guys should route soon we got the Sicilian these in Eastern infantry are holding on pretty firm let's go back up let's have these five guys just chase after these guys They are throwing their javelins at us. Okay, backing up. Backing off. Backing off. Here comes their heavy cav. Let's go, charge. Blow the horn. Heavy cab, but we got them surrounded. They are shaken. We got them. All right, not a bad victory. We did lose 99 guys. All right, let's get our spy over here in Mazaka. Watching and waiting. We're gonna go after here first. It's weird the broody I backed off. That was interesting. All right, let's get our the rest of our army to join Marcellus over here. Yes. All right, looks like uh, Numidia is after us over here. We're going to have to send this army back, I think. We've got not too huge a force. However, uh, I can't disembark anywhere near here. We're going to have to send them back. It looks like the Broody Eye moved their trip troops onto the ship, so we're going to have to deal with them. Yeah, unfortunately I had to bring all my troops because I couldn't disembark here. But let's just get them in the town. We'll keep an eye on the broody eye. And try to beat them over here if we can. Alright, looks like I found a Cretian archer over here in Athens. I'm going to go ahead and recruit him. Alright, we got our, uh, our uh, faction leader over here, but he's getting pretty old. He's 67 years old. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer all the retinue over to this new guy, this Numerous. So Numerous is a pretty good uh, governor. So I'll probably keep him in a bigger city. Let's go ahead and move him out. I'm thinking maybe just have him be governor of Syracuse. But we'll just move him into Masana first. Aye, aye, Captain. And then next turn, get him over to Syracuse. Alright, we're finally able to recruit some Triarii, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Alright, we got another um, general over here in Carthage. I think uh, Quintus over here will give him all, we'll give up all of our retinue to this younger guy. Because Quintus. Quintus is getting pretty old too. And so now we got Secundus. I gotta figure out what to do with him. Just get him over to Thapsis for now. Because there's an, an academy over here. We could maybe pick up some more retinue. I'm gonna get a ship to send him out. Uh, maybe to Greece somewhere. Have him be a gen general, a governor in Greece. All right, let's go ahead and take these uh, rebels over here in Asia. Not too much. Skirmishers, militia hoplites, some light cav and peasants. All right, well, we took care of those guys pretty easily. We only lost six. All right, let's mop up another rebel unit as we push forward on Pontus. They do have a little army over here with some onagers and a uh, family member. So we got to watch out for them. All right, let's take a, let's hit this uh, other Pontus army over here. I think I'm just gonna leave these guys be and uh, march on towards Mazaka. Uh, I do have some more troops over in Pergamum. I 
forgot to move out. Let's go ahead and get them on the move here to back up Secundus. All right, looks like uh, this army over here is not going to be able to reach me if I move to this bridge. So I'm going to have Queso go ahead and move to this bridge. I'm going to get him some more cavalry just in case they come and attack me. So we'll get these cavalry to back him up. Yeah, if this army attacks on the bridge, I think we'll be okay. I could get this Barbarian Mercenaries. I will. It's only 800. Worst part about these Barbarian Mercenaries is the 200 upkeep. Which reminds me, I do have another one over here in Asuka here. I should probably just disband them. Because I don't need them over here. So yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. And we'll get this army retrained over here best we can. And probably get another... Looks like we need missile units, so let's get a Velites over here. So we do have a Gallic Assassin over here, so I'm going to have to be careful of my generals. Thinking instead of getting the Peasant over here, I'm going to get some Spies. And let's get another Spy over here too. Just so that we have Spies with all of our generals, that way it can protect them from Assassins. Let's go ahead and drop off this army over here. We'll get them into the city. I would like to move this army out, but we still have to maintain public order. I could get a couple of infantry marching out. Let's get our Principes and Estadis. I think that'll be okay. We're down to 70%. But we'll get a well, we don't get the peasant because we're training the spy, which we do need. Let's see if I can get this equites in the city. There we go. That did it. Now we're good. All right. Um, going to take care of these rebels down here in Lepsis Magna. Let's go ahead and fight them. I left my Velites unprotected, and uh, I took a lot more casualties than I had hoped for. But we still won. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Uh, Gaul wants a ceasefire. I'm going to decline that because I need to take that last settlement in Spain. Looks like Dacia is attacking us on the bridge. We've got a few troops, but I think we can hold it. Let's go. Alright, let's go take our positions. They do have a heavy cav, so that's going to be my biggest fear right there is those heavy cav. Sarmatian mercenaries. The Bastarni shouldn't be too much threat because we can really hit them with our, our missiles. Although we're not doing too much damage right right now. Alright, they're already shaking. Alright, the Bastarni are routing. Okay, their uh, Sarmatian mercenaries are routing. I think that... The rest should be pretty easy pickings then. Although, if they get through me and then rally, that might be a big deal. Let's go up chase them with my cavalry. We should be able to handle these guys with just our infantry. And chase after these uh, Sarmatians. Don't let them rally. If they rally, we're done for. Get our infantry, taking the bridge. Make sure to chase these guys off the map. All right, those uh, Sarmatians are gone. Let's get our cavalry back. We got them in a crossfire with our archers. Shouldn't, shouldn't take them too long to uh, to break. Okay, here we go. We got them. Alright, another heroic victory. We only lost 79. Nice. Oh, back to back battles. Alright, they got Warband and Bastarnies. They should not be a problem. Alright, let's go. Here they come. Alright, they're in range of our archers. We should get a couple volleys off before they get to our infantry.
All right, and we got them Enemy just like that. All right, well, we only lost seven. Not too bad. All right, here we go. Another bridge defense, this time in Spain. Let's go. All right, let's get in position. All right, we're doing good missile damage. Took out those uh, Nikki Fanatics. Here comes their general's bodyguard. Let's get our war band, war cry going. Let's get our cavalry. Okay, never mind about the cavalry. They're already retreating. It's good, and he's coming right after me. Uh, hopefully, we can kill the general. He went after my slingers, but didn't make it. They routed before they could get there. Let's get my equites to hit their uh, general. There he is. Let's get him. Looks like he might get away. Come on, get him. Got him. Their war dogs are kind of all jammed on the bridge. All right, another easy victory. Only four losses. All right, found another Cretan archer over here on, in Kydonia. I'm gonna go grab him, get him on my ship, and send him on the way. Probably Thessalonica as the Temple of Artemis. Yeah, let's get him to Thessalonica. All right, I'm going to send Queso over here to uh, besiege Scalabus. And let's build some rams. I'm going to get this army to reinforce him. We should be good here. Let's get Marcellus over here to besiege Mazaka. Get some rams over here. Let's get a spy into Sinope. All right, wow, this is a big city, 23,000 people. We need to get them, uh, we need to take this city and get a lot of money. All right, we got a Senate mission to uh, blockade Sinope, so we're going to go ahead and complete that mission. So I think I'm going to get my army out of Asuka and see how many turns it'll take. Wow, it'll take me forever to get over here. To the Spanish capital. So I'm going to move K this queso up out of the city of Cordoba. I want to keep him out of... I don't want him to get attacked by this army. I'd like this army to come and attack my other queso. We'll see what happens. This city's at 65%. I'm going to get this fleet to sail around here and we can pick up our armies over here and then take on their capital I'm gonna go ahead and uh, besiege Numantia we've been waiting for a while uh, I don't see any reason to wait any longer they've got a lot of units but they're not really high quality we should be able to take this city we'll take some losses but we should be we should be okay we should be able to do a lot of damage with our missiles all right, I'm gonna just start off by moving my archers up. I'm only taking the one side. I'm gonna leave the other two gates. We're gonna all concentrate our attack on this gate. We're gonna do as many kills as we can with our archers and slingers. We should be able to get a lot of casualties. We should inflict a lot of damage with our archers. And I'm not gonna send my rams forward until we start firing with our archers until we uh, uh, take out as many as we can all right looks like they're out of range let's go ahead and send our rams forward
Alright, well, I've killed about 38%, and I think I need to get my troops into the city now. Let's just go like this. And get my cavalry to follow, follow them up. And we'll see how this goes. Have captured the walls. Now is the time to press on and capture this place. I'm gonna leave my archers here for now. They'll be providing backup if they come and attack me at the gates. Here they come. We should be able to hit them. I mean, they should be in missile range. Looks like they're charging their cavalry forward. We should be able to hit them. Okay, they're. They're backing up. Hold off. Here comes their war dogs. It's gonna hurt. Why these guys are charging out? But I guess I gotta help them now. All right, let's get our infantry lined up here. Oh man, those war dogs are just nasty, aren't they? Alright. I do not want my infantry to... take the city. I mean, go any further. I need them to halt. some barbarian cavalry. Let's charge them from the sides. Let's get them. Alright, let's send another group of infantry forward. We're gonna have to fight for every inch here. Let me get some equites in the gates. Let's go take this side. Guys, back. Here comes some more cavalry. Ok, 
killed 60%. Come some more cavalry. They're broken. Let's get back. We're running low on arrows, but we do have uh, some more some valetes that are pretty fresh. Let's get them forward. And I've been saving this group of archers over here. Uh, they have a lot of arrows left. That's uh, for the final battle in the town square. Here comes another cavalry charge. get our these these equites over here we're gonna do a little flanking maneuver same with these guys over here Get these archers in the gates. Um, I'm not sure I appreciate the uh, pathfinding that these equites are taking. Going directly after these guys. Let's just get all the equites to just. Go ahead and charge out over here. What is oh what are my equites doing? I think they're on to something. They're just charging. Oh no, what are they doing? Get out of there. They've got a general's bodyguard. He's got sixty-five guys. Halt and you guys get out of there, yeah. They got sixty-five general's bodyguards. There's no way these equites are gonna take them. I don't know what, how they got over here. And yeah, one of them already routed. Here comes their, yeah, their cavalry, their general's bodyguard. I should go after these guys right now. Yeah, here they come. I'm gonna get some guys. I'm gonna try to take out these uh, their their general's bodyguard. Let's get my general behind him. There's uh yes, still have 62. We only killed a couple. Okay. Back up, General. Rally if you can. Let's get everybody over there and just take out their General. All right, he's down to 46. We got him. We got the General. His bodyguard's down to 13. 
Terror makes a home in our enemy's Let's just get everybody charging. No, that's not a good idea. Everybody halt. Let's get our infantry. Let's get organized here. Alright, I'm setting up a pretty good trap over here. Our archers are already in range. Let's get them move forward a little bit. And uh, I don't know if they're going to charge out, but if not, we can just uh, wear them down. They still have a handful of... Uh, they still have the heavy infantry and heavy cav, so... Yeah, we don't want to necessarily charge just yet. If we can get them to charge us... Do as much damage as we can with our infantry, with our archers, and our skirmishers. No sense rushing in just yet. They're still powerful. We want to reduce our casualties. Here they come. Okay, and they should uh, route as soon as they get close, I think. These are not... Oh, yeah, these are heavy infantry but they are still routing good and here they come again and they're routed again They're coming for another attack. Down to 79, guys. Routed again. Alright, I'm going to have my guys move out as orderly as I can. Because they're not reaching me, they just keep routing before they even get to me. Put everybody on guard mode so we don't just charge out into them. Let's get everybody to double time. These guys are gonna halt. I don't know why we're. Ch they're not going where I told them to go. They're just all charging. I think just a general charge now. I don't think. Yeah. These guys aren't, aren't obeying my orders, so I'm just charging everybody out. Just 
be careful of our general. Try to surround him as best we can. Even my general's doing crazy stuff. No, we're routing. Well, we took 664 losses. That's actually not too bad, considering how many people they were and that the fact that it's a siege. All right, let's go. Captured. All right, medium-sized settlement. Let's go ahead and enslave it and repair what we can, just the walls, retrain as many people as we can, and get a peasant. We can go low taxes with no public order problem. Good. And there we go. Another settlement. Two more settlements to go in, t in Spain. Let's take a look at our um, allies' cities over here. So Croton's up to 22,365 with a 0% population growth. Last time I checked, it was higher than uh, Tarentum. See if I can get my spy. Your Honor. I can't get into Tarentum because it's just too dangerous. But I, if I get close, I, I can see the amount. So twenty one six eighty eight. So yeah, Croton is definitely much higher population. So closer to the Marian Reform trigger. Your Honor. Uh, let's get him back into Croton. Searching. And over here in Aretium, we're at 22,278. So, still have quite a bit of time to recruit before the Marian reforms are triggered. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in it here. Thank you for watching. Bye.